In this video, we're going to explore how we can add, and add integers, specifically, with the same sign. In other words, both numbers are going to be negative. It also works if both numbers are positive, but we've seen that before, and it's not nearly as interesting. To set this up, we're going to consider negative 4 plus negative 3. Now, I guess you could think of negative 4 as four little negatives hanging out here. So we've got one, two, three, four little negative chips here. And we're going to add to that three more negative chips. So one, two, three more negative chips. And what you see we've got is just a whole bunch of negative chips hanging out together. In fact, there are seven of them total. We've got seven of these negative chips. And that's kind of how we end up with this solution, that negative 4 plus negative 3 is a total of negative 7, because we just have a whole bunch of negatives. We just need to know how many of them. This gives rise to our process that we will use to add integers with the same sign. What we will do is we will add the number to find out how many of them we have, and then we will keep the sign, keep the negative, because we've got a lot more negatives. So, for example, if we had negative 5 plus negative 3, this means we've got 5 negatives hanging out with 3 negatives. We have a whole bunch of negatives. In fact, 5 plus 3, there are 8 of these negatives. We add the numbers 5 plus 3 and keep the negative sign. Same process when the numbers get a bit larger. Negative 13 plus negative 42, we can add the numbers 13 plus 42 because they have the same sign, gives us 55. And because they're both negatives, we now have negative 55. To add integers that have the same sign, we will add the numbers and keep that sign. 